Tobu Zoo is one of Japan's more well-known theme parks, but in no way is it one of their best. This was probably the least impressive park that I visited in Japan, and I would be perfectly content if I never went back there. So brace yourselves, guys, because this review is not going to be a very positive one. I'm going to discuss my entire experience I had with the place, which was not very long. We were there for maybe two or three hours max. The park was so incredibly dead, we are some of the only guests there, and when you factor in that they have barely any rides? Why would we stay any longer? There was no reason to be here. Most people come to this park so that they can ride Kiwasemi, their Intamin Mega Light, which is the only redeeming factor about this place. I have a full review of Kiwasemi on my channel, so go check that out. I'm not really going to talk about it in this video, but I will mention some of the other roller coasters that they have. Their second largest one is Regina, an Intamin wooden coaster that was closed while we were there and has since been closed permanently and will be taken down, which really factors into this overall idea that Tobu Zoo has, which is removing a lot of rides. They had a Togo looping wild mouse that they took out. They had a big old drop tower they took out. So the only other coasters that are currently left standing are two kitty coasters. One is a powered coaster, and then the other is a Zyre Tivoli Ladybug themed ride. Nothing special. So the only thing that's unique about this place is the fact that they have a Megalite. But not even that can save this place because the park felt extremely neglected. It was not a pretty park. As this big boss body of water in the center that was this greenish color it was ugly and it smelled bad and there was just a general lack of charm in the place I for real did not enjoy being here. I think it's very clear that this park needs a lot of TLC if they want to save it. But if the owners aren't going to do that, then frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if this place closes in the next several years. I don't see how they're turning a profit. We went what should have been a busy day during the summer, and the place was a ghost town. You could have filmed a movie about an abandoned theme park at this place while it was open, and it would have looked abandoned. And I think part of the reason why no one was there is because this place is expensive. It is way more expensive than than it is worth. It's about 48,000 yen, aka about 48 US dollars, which you might say, okay, that's a pretty average fair price for a theme park. However, for what you're getting at this place, I don't think it should have been more than $30. The park is big, however, there are barely any rides. It's just a lot of wide open pathways, where you're walking from one attraction to another and there's nothing along the way. Parts of this almost felt like a state park instead of a theme park, but it was a poorly run state park. Which is why when I was walking around this place, I'm like, wow, I really don't care. When we first entered the place, we went straight for Kiyosemi. I'm pretty sure we were the first guests on it for the day, and we did not get there at park opening. And what I thought was so interesting was that the park was closed the day before we went, and so you would think that logically they would use that day that they're closed to do any maintenance, that they need to do, but no, when we show up there, the stupid ladybug coaster isn't even opening because they're doing maintenance on it. Why didn't they just do it when the park was closed to the public? I don't know. Eventually it did open, but it was just barely as we were leaving, so we were glad that we were able to get on that thing, because frankly, if we were walking away from this place with only Kiyosemi and that dumb powered coaster, we would have been even more disappointed than we already were. In terms of any other rides I did here, I believe the only other one I rode was their observation wheel, because this is Japan, every park has the Spiggle Ferris wheel, which is great. However, this thing is a sauna inside. There's no air conditioning. There's no way to get air. And while the view was decent, I can't say it was the most fun experience. It moved super slow. They played some audio <laughs> while you're on it, except we don't speak Japanese, so we didn't know what it was saying. And it was just screaming and crying, and we didn't really know what it meant. I don't know if they were telling a story or something, but it was super weird. And when you're on that wheel, you can see the park on one side, and then you can see the zoo portion on the other side, because this is Tobu Zoo, so there are animals. But we did not go near the zoo portion, because while we were on the observation wheel, we could look over and see up above into some of the enclosures. And let me just say, some of these enclosures looked way too small. It didn't look like the animals were having fun. So we didn't want to go near it because we didn't want to get really depressed. I've been told they have a monkey exhibit that's pretty decent, but everything else is pretty sad. So sorry I'm not able to go a bit further in depth with the zoo portion, but frankly, I'm not sure I wanted to see it. If it felt like anything like the rest of the park, then it would have been a big yikes. Only other final thing I'll add is they did have this weird mirror maze kind of attraction where you'd pick either this red side or the blue side to go through. We didn't really know what it was for, but then you have to like guess the weight of this ball. I don't really know, but it's there. It's another attraction you can do. But I think it all just leans into the fact that we weren't here for very long because there was just a general lack of attractions in this park. 
It's way too big for the rise that they have. And if the place were at least pretty, I don't think I would mind, but it's not. It's a pretty ugly park. We wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. We didn't even eat in the place. We decided to eat outside the park because we weren't interested in trying their food. So, my final thoughts. Will I ever go back to Tobu Zoo? The only scenario I can think of where I would ever go back here is if they added a crazy new roller coaster that looked awesome. But frankly, I don't think they can afford that. If every day is as dead as when we went, don't be surprised if this place doesn't last too much longer. If I ever go back to Japan, I will for sure be skipping Tobu Zoo because Kiwasemi wasn't even all that amazing. It's not worth my time to go back and visit this place. But those are my thoughts on Tobu Zoo, one of the themes parks we visit in Japan. If you've been here, let me know down in the comments below if you agree with what I've said about this place. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. You can check out other park reviews I have available on my channel. They're organized in a playlist in alphabetical order by the park's name. So go check those out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.